tonight from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. The calendar has turned to December, and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in week 13. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot there. Maybe a yard to the 27. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. He'll drop to throw. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They're going to look to throw into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Remember, Charles, this is the number one defense in the NFL, and they proved their medal here, forcing the turnover on the opening possession. And sometimes when you play a team that has that reputation, it's earned it by their play. The psychology is, okay, they're number one. They have to prove it to us, and they tried to attack. They found out that that ranking was real. And if history is any indication, when this defense gets off to a good start, look out. Yeah, their offense plays off of them awfully well, too. Now it's second and ten. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Over the middle, complete. That's Taylor. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing now is Stroud. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Again, it's Drown. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. They'll set up to throw, and that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Draymond Jones. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's complete. He finds Jaden Reed. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 10-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be fourth down. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. He'll take it at the 42. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but an end of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the Texans with great field position to start this drive as they take over first and 10. First and 10, Taylor now. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. If you look at this Packers defense, they come into this one way down at number 23 against the run of the NFL. And the focus now 
is making sure that they're hitting on all cylinders as they head into the playoffs. And that means they've got to stop the run better. Because... And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. His 19th touchdown now on the season. And the Texans put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonders for everyone. Obviously, your body get a chance to heal up, but your mind as well. You feel good about winning, so now you can get away from it for a few days, put down the playbook, you know, turn off the film, just be you, enjoy that time away, and then you come back ready to go. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Got his man, that's Luke Musgrave. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 48-yard line. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Second and 11. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown! Christian Watson, 54 yards. And the Packers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Carlson's extra point up and good, and we are tied at seven. A drive that time of six plays, and it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game, their toughest test. Oh, looking for Waller, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. They'll set up a throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Back to throw. He may go, and he is caught. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He'll look to throw towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. And it's a Packers touchdown. 
Luke Musgrave. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers have taken the lead. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Third down and 10. Now Stroud. Flushed out right. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. They're going for it. Here's Stroud. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Stroud to throw it. That one complete. It's Tank Dell. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14 to 7. Give them 19 there as the drive marches forward. Now they'll throw it with Stroud here, first and 10. That's complete to Dell. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A big play that time on the catch and run. 39 yards. They'll run here with Taylor. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Taylor. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Texans touchdown. Jonathan Taylor with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Texans are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point splits the uprights, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. The Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. What do they have for this? Third and 11. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down.
To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Texans will take over. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Stroud now on first and 10. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. How about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. First and 10, it's Stroud. Got his man, Dell. And yeah, this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. It's hurry up mode time for the Texans hustling up to the line. And yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. The Texans gonna signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. Now a throw caught by one of their linemen. A big play there on the fake field goal. 32 yards. It's past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And ready to get the party started for the second. Oh, and miscommunication on the lateral. The ball's out. And I think he was able to get back on it. He was. So they will get the ball after all, but that could have been a disaster. I didn't do this in college, but I did it in high school. When you return kicks and you lose it yourself, the panic that goes through you and the determination to get the ball back, I don't even know how to describe it. And I think we just saw an example there. Yeah, and the relief when you get it back like he did. <laughs> yeah, you go to the sidelines, you know you're going to get yelled at, but you can handle it because you got the ball back. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. Touchdown, Houston. A big play there with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Texans come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 21-14. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Here's third and a few inches. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. Now he's into the clear again, and he will go out of bounds down at the 15-yard line. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Back to throw here. And he lost the football, and the Texans scoop it. And to the 12, that's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. I know one thing, the team that had the ball and was driving, they're going to feel horrible. But the team that was on defense, I think we got to give a little bit of credit, able to hang in there and force a key turnover. In the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's a game of 35. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. 
Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. The CD, you know, this offense at 11-0 now on the year. A few weeks ago, I remember asking you what kind of percentage chance that you thought they had at staying unbeaten the entire season. I think you said 25%. I'd imagine that number probably grown since then. I would agree with There he goes, left side. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 22-yard line. Thomas goes in motion left. Stroud will look to throw once more. And it's caught. Touchdown, Texans. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now up to 14. Just a four-play drive that time. And the result, a Houston touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Last time out, remember, they fumbled the football. That led to the touchdown. And Charles, they were in the red zone, so that's a backbreaker. they got to try to pick up the pieces here on this drive. Yeah, and I actually started to do the math here, so be patient with me. 12-point swing is the way I calculate it because not only did they drop the ball in the red zone, they watched the opponent score a touchdown right after that. So their goal, have a drive here and try and get some of those points back. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return, and the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Here's Stroud. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Stroud. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. The CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now a handoff running for the middle. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now the ball comes loose. And the Texans scoop it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Hey, we can preach ball security all we want here, but how about that effort on defense? Excellent job inside the red zone. Just took away at least three points by forcing that fumble. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Stroud looking to throw. 
Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A fresh set of downs on a gain of 13 there for the Texans. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Stroud completes this out wide. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. They run once more with Taylor. And a good burst there. Gets him seven up to midfield. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely. And no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask. And that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. The bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. Only a yard that time, second and goal. They'll motion out one of the tight ends. Here's Taylor again, and he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Jonathan Taylor, his second touchdown of the night. And the Texans add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And a touchdown, apparently not enough. They want more, an onside kick. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. They'll look to throw here. Fighting to stay upright. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And the defense says they have it. They do. One play into the ball game in early turnover. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he will be out of bounds. A good yardage there. And he'll get a second to catch his breath as it leads us right into the two-minute warning. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Come on, come on. Six, six the Eagles, six the Eagles. Switch, switch, switch. Back to Taylor on first down. Good move at the 30. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. 44 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh oh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. 
Again, it's Taylor. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Tough spot here. Third down and 11. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. On third down, here's Taylor. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Quick throw by Stroud, complete out wide. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll take this for a short gain on 